Hello there. Bear with me. Oh, I, uh, I've driven five hours north today and all the way up the west coast to a, a small place called Pulyu. And Pulyu is not that far away from Ullapool. Not quite Ullapool, but it's not far away. And the plan for the next day or two is to hike into an area of Scottish wilderness named Fisherfield, into the Fisherfield Forest. Um, there are a couple of Munros on the route, which I may or may not do, I think I probably will, but this is not all about the Munros, this is just about taking a day or two out with the, uh, with the tent into what is widely regarded as one of the remotest parts of Scotland and if you get the views from the from the mountain tops one of the most beautifulest parts of Scotland so here's hoping the five hour drive has been worth it I'm around about a mile and a half in I haven't done any filming just yet simply because I've been stuffing my face with a sausage roll and what is generally regarded as far as I'm concerned is quite an excellent pork pie because I was hungry anyway we shall march on and let's see what this all brings, shall we? Just heading down the track now. I'm not sure if uh, I've uh, walked. Probably about three miles, something like that. It looks like we're heading into some kind of farm now, which I didn't expect. Looks like a, a very, very nice farm. Beautiful white house. Just taking a wrong turn in and walked for about half a mile too far. I'm heading for uh, up a track to the what's lovingly known as the bad bog and uh, completely has missed me turning anyway heading back down now so I think we dodged one there because uh, the map suggests that that path heads to the bad bog. Now, I really don't know what to think about that. The last time I encountered a bad bog was on a, a second class sleeper from Bombay to Goa. By gum, that was a bad bog. Oof. So close to six miles in now and going well don't feel too bad very very warm I've got the uh, I'm not trying to look cool here this is to stop the sweat from running into my eyes even though I've got stupidly unruly eyebrows they don't stop the water from from gushing down all over my spectacles and if you're a spectacle wearer like what like I am you'll know that's not pleasant Anyway, this is the uh, six miles in now and it's starting to get really interesting. It's, uh, it's really opening up now.
I don't know if you can see that, but that is the footprint of a unicorn. This is indeed a very magical place. Not only do we have unicorn footprint, look there's another. Unicorns round here, but we've also got furry worms. And you don't see them, do you, in your garden? They said this was like a magical wilderness out here, and they were right. Right, we're so um, just short of nine and a half mile now. And it's half past three. So that's around about three and a half hours walking because it was just around noon that I set off with my sausage roll and my pork pie. So going well, going well. I'm starting to feel it now. I'm getting a bit tired. Um, I'm in two minds whether to have a rest at the Cam or Bothy or not. I'm not far really, probably four miles away from where I'm going to put tent up, so put tent up, excuse me again, so that's going to make it round about five o'clock for camp and then I've got a decision to make. Quite some place this. It um, it's quite breathtaking. It takes some getting to, but by gum when you get here, it's worth it. Hi, welcome to camp. Um, got my spot now sorted out, and uh, still got some lovely sunshine left, which is excellent. So what can I say? about um, this camp well it's perfect it's absolutely perfect um, but I need to own up because I've learned a little something about myself today and that is that I am not um, I'm not a Munro bagger so basically as I've walked around towards the causeway I've walked past what is arguably the most perfect camping spot I think I've found to date and I got to the causeway and I looked up and saw the track winding up to the Bialk at, uh, between the two Munros and I just had this yearning this pulling back to this place back to this place so here I am uh, I'm not a Munro bagger I'm just in it for um, walking enjoying the Scottish countryside everything it has to offer and the perfect place to have a camp. So on that bombshell, uh, I think I'm going to have a wash and then have something to eat and drink. Big up to my subscriber Jenny P1T. Well, the sun don't go down until really 
after eight o'clock but what i've unfortunately got is i've got a mountain in the way so the sun's actually going to disappear in the next 10 minutes and i don't think it's going to be seen again i'm actually facing northeast sorry northwest sorry so um what i think it will do is i think it'll light these mountains up quite spectacular now at the moment the sky is absolutely clear i mean there's hardly a uh, a cloud in the sky so it could be it could be a spectacular star show tonight what an absolutely stunning evening morning it is uh quarter to eight and i can report that that was a an extremely good night's sleep up a nine hours sleep which is uh pretty good it was it was a little bit broken i lost a little bit of air from my uh from my map because i think it was the warm the warm air it went into the map uh obviously condensated or whatever it does overnight so that was all right but uh, a little bit cool this morning at dawn but uh, not a breath of wind absolutely fabulous i'll show you around now i've just about packed up tents gone all in the bag and ready to go with a 12 mile walk today so Midge net on because it's terrible this morning. I jumped out for a piddle this morning and uh, anyway, they just came straight after me. And you've got to protect yourself, haven't you? Anyway, I shall show you around. So, another look. Beautiful morning. You see the fish jumping in the lock. I got woke up a couple of times by a stag making a right racket but all you can do is smile can't you I mean after all it's their land so this is where I camped last night I don't know if you can just see where I was bags all packed I'll make good pace and try to keep ahead of the midges anyway we'll pick this up a bit later I'm having problems with flies. They're uh, they're evil little things. Anyway, they like because there's hardly any wind, <coughs> the, uh, and the humidity is quite high. You walk through these little dips, and there's swarms of these little flies just waiting for you. And I, I understand that they're hungry and all that kind of thing, but. I mean, there's a unicorn around here somewhere that they could be picking on, rather than me. But they're, uh, I can only explain them in that they're like spiders, but with wings. And these things are absolutely rock hard. I mean, they land on me. And I belt them, and proper belt them. You know, I mean, a housefly wouldn't survive. But these things do just shake it off. And then they continue to walk on you. And it's deeply unpleasant. I don't know if they're flies, they might be even robots or something like it won't surprise me in this strange land. Who knows? Anyway, robot flies or something like that. I could do with a little bit of a breeze just to get rid of them. Robot spider flies are back again. Back to the car now. Uh, did it in quick time 22 degrees it's another red hot warm one anyway back to pool you now 
uh, very, very fast back. I think it took me about three hours and 50 minutes of fair mooring coming back. But uh, it was shorter on the way back because I actually took a wrong turn, didn't I, on the way out. Anyway, uh, jobs are good. Now, I'm going to nip round to the shop and probably get another one of those pot pies. And then I shall have a steady drive back down south, I think. And, uh, and enjoy the rest of the weekend at home. It's been a pleasure having you along. See you again soon.